to think thoughts of defeat, thoughts of needs, I said, I find it difficult. I find it difficult. I can't think the other way. My mind has been conditioned by the words. It's called the wisdom of the righteous. Phronesis. The wisdom of the righteous. You are separated unto the wisdom of God. And when you're separated unto the wisdom of God, it makes no difference what happens. Your, your life is not decided by the happenings. No, you are in charge. You will change whatever situation to fit the call and purpose of God for your life. That's the way you see things. As you walk on your way, you are coming with power. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. Look at your paths. Every one of us has a path. Every one of us has a journey. You understand? You are on a journey. And as you're going, there's something you will meet on the way. For David, there was a bear and there was a lion. And then after that, there was a Goliath. Then the armies of the Philistines. And then lots of other armies on his paths. But he defeated all of them. I'm not sure what's in your path. But there's surely something in your path. There's something in your path. What are you going to do when you get there? What are you going to do? Are you going to be pleading, oh God, please do something. Oh God, I didn't know this was in my path. Listen, there's something in your path. You're not going to just run free. No, it's not the will of God. You're going to get somewhere and you find that masked devil. It doesn't matter what he's wearing. You say in the name of Jesus Christ. Get out of my way! You know what? When you do that, some will fall away. And you keep joining. You get to another one. And you say in the name of Jesus Christ, get out of my way. It will not move. And you step back. And you say in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you. So get out of my way. It's still standing there. You say in the name of Jesus Christ. Now you get ready and you say, get out of my way. You push it down. Are you hearing me? So you push it down. After that one, there's another one. When you get to that one, you say in the name of Jesus, get out of my way. It's still standing. You say in the name of Jesus, I push you down. It's still standing. And you go back a little bit. You speak in other tongues. Are you hearing me? And then you say in the name of Jesus Christ, you want to. you walk to you will look back and see he wasn't even there I said he wasn't even there it was a mirage are you still there now you can understand when God tells you don't worry it is nothing when you face the biggest troubles that's what the spirit says the small ones, he lets you train your face. You talk and you kick and you push. When you get to the bigger ones, God says the battle is not your battle. Oh, no, God! Hey. <laughs> the 
battle is not your battle. He says, don't worry. You don't need to shout. You don't need to kick. You don't need to push. Just keep going. <laughs> Hallelujah. Then you get to where he is, and he is not there. Oh, where is he? Then the father says, I told you it was nothing. His name is called nothing. Hallelujah. So when you keep shouting and you're commanding, and you're praying and kicking and pushing and nothing is happening, stop for a moment. As a pastor Chris said the other day, when you keep shouting and pushing and kicking, and there's no change, just walk you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Just walk you. Get back to business. Glory to God. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Thank you.